complete small outboard fuel system rundown in less than three minutes. Let's go. All right, starting with the gas tank, external gas tank. Here's the gas vent. You have to have this open in operation. You got your priming bulb. What this does is you squeeze it and it pushes gas into the outboard and primes your system. There's two check valves in this guy. When you squeeze it, this valve opens, pushes gas out. This valve closes, preventing gas from back flowing back into the tank. This hose is hooked up into the gas intake here for the external tank. And we'll jump over if you want to use the internal tank. Here's the internal tank. Here's the gas vent to open. You have to have this open to operate the motor. If not, you're going to get suction. You're not going to get gas flow. Here is the gas selection valve. If you're using the internal tank, you want it to be open so gas can flow from the tank through this line, through the gas selection valve, over to your fuel pump that we'll see in a minute. If you use an external tank, you want this closed because when you prime use an external tank, if this is open, it's going to send gas into your internal tank and not send gas to your fuel pump and your carburetor. And from your gas tank, the gas is going to flow through these lines to your fuel pump. Here's your fuel pump. This is a diaphragm that is driven by, I believe, the crankshaft. The diaphragm moves back and forth. There's two check valves here. When the diaphragm moves one direction, it sucks gas in. When diaphragm moves the other direction, it pushes gas through. On the intake movement of the diaphragm, this valve, check valve's open, this check valve's closed. On the opposite, when it's wanting to send gas to the carburetor, this valve is closed, this valve is open to prevent gas from back flowing through the system. These valves use the diaphragm pressure, pumping pressure to open and close. Here's your fuel filter. Here is your carburetor. Gas is pumped into your carburetor bowl. And the way the carburetor controls the bowl from overflowing or running dry is there's a float inside that controls a needle valve. When the float goes up, that means the bowl has enough gas. It closes the needle valve intake. When the bowl runs out of gas, then the float goes down. When the float is down, that means there's not enough gas in the bowl and it wants more gas from the fuel pump. So it will open the needle valve when the float is in down position, allowing more gas to flow into the car bowl until the float gets up to a certain position. Then the needle valve will close, preventing gas from overflowing the carb, causing your motor to flood. <sighs> Inside the carb, inside the carb, there's two jets. What the jets do is it vaporizes the gas for use in the motor, in the motor cylinder, so the spark plug can ignite the gas vapor. One of the jets is the idle jet that's primarily used during starting and, and idle speed. The other jet is the main jet that is primarily used during wide open throttle. The gas flow from the carb through the jets is controlled by two things, choke and your throttle. When the choke plate closes, when you activate the choke, the choke restricts airflow going in, creates more suction coming from your carb bowl, which gives the motor more gas during starting. And when you close the choke, then it allows more air to come in. <sighs> that is it. If you think of anything else that I missed, put it down in the comments. I appreciate the view. And as always, pick up your trash when you're on the water. I hate it when everybody leaves trash, ruins it for everybody. Have an amazing day. Thanks. Here's the gas vent. You have to have this open in operation.